and welcome to our seance, where we are summoning up the memories of Board AF Legacy on Smosh James. Joining us tonight is the entirety of our cast from Board AF Legacy. Cast, welcome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Evil should spirit. We, should we start with, <laughs> we like church. Church. Oh, we we like, like church. Aww. No. That's pretty special. You guys, like. I miss it. We, I miss it too. It's, for as long as I've been on Smosh Games, unless it's been like a really like tentpole show that has existed for a very long time, like we don't get through really long playthroughs of anything. And this was what, 13 episodes? Like. I mean, yeah, we went from 1666 to 2004. So. This yeah. is wild. I remember when we first did 14. this, like thinking that the rest, I was like, that's funny that we'd go to the rest <laughs> of it. Like I had no idea for some reason. I, I wasn't a firm believer that we were gonna get to the end. Yeah. Because yeah. we, you know, over the years on Smosh, like we'll start and be like, mm -hmm. let's do this series. But like let's over time, this. fans mm -hmm. often don't, don't come back in the same numbers, mm -hmm. but this was different and we saw people like really stuck around and like supported it and I was, it, once we hit like 1849, mm -hmm. like m midway through I was like, we're gonna go to the this end This is this. happening. Like, we're gonna friggin' keep doing this show. Well, yeah. and even before we started the game, we had two practice sessions, like three hour practice sessions. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is a long term commitment. Like we yeah. need to like really know what we're yeah. doing. Yeah. I wasn't there for those. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. We well, that learned. makes sense. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, first first I'm roast, just keep, kidding. keep a tally. I'm just kidding, because the roasts are all gonna be on me because I halfway knew how to play the game. You know what, but here's what I'll say. Like, I love, <laughs> I love Betrayal. Like, it's my favorite board game, or it was. Now it's work, but I loved it before. <laughs> um, just kidding. No, I hate you can it. Never play now, again. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna play it again. Um, uh, I actually got invited to a game night this month. They're like, we're gonna be playing Betrayal. I'm like, I, I would rather get sick. Right. Um, so, no, I'm kidding. Uh, but like, it was really special to be able to bring this here and not just be like, let's play a game that I love so much, but like, something I've always wanted more out of for Smosh games is um, characters. Because that's the thing that differentiates us, right? We started as a sketch channel. So if we have a rare group of people that can do sketches and games, like, why not do that? And this was a really cool vehicle for that. And I loved like, you know, being in relationships with everybody mm -hmm. and playing the game and being characters and the time the, like the timepiece element of it mm -hmm. and the costumes were so much fun. So fun. I must not have been here mentally because I remember, <laughs> I remember our first day, our first shoot day of the 1666 one. I remember not knowing we were gonna do another episode after lunch. And then I did Ronald, like, and you guys were like, that's a 2005 character. Why'd you, <laughs> why'd you yeah. do that? And I remember going, huh? Like I like I don't know what the fuck was going on with me, I, but then I remember like leaving, <laughs> like changing outfits, and then that was when I f finally put together. Alicia had like different options that for the next character in the yeah. same color, and I was like, oh my god, we have I get to be yeah. a relative of Blinda. Who chose to make them the same? Co oh, that's part of the game. No, I think uh, that was that was a uh, thing that I I think. I mean, I guess we all agreed. Like, I don't remember who brought it up, but I, I think that was from the beginning, like, hey, let's have characters. I love like, that. Let's keep them we have to give props to Alicia because yeah. she, yeah. wardrobe, she killed it. We'd send her emails and be like, this is the alpha we want for the time. Can mm -hmm. we get a 1666, um, you know, like vest with a clock, like. In, in yellow. In, in yellow. Within, within yellow. budget. Within, within budget. budget. Within yeah. budget, like. Budget of $20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah literally. Spread out amongst that all shirt? of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, oh my God. The shirt. Mm. So good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember getting into this and being really excited. I had never played Betrayal at all, and mm. I know we'd played it before, but I remember getting into it and being like excited, and you know, I know I make the joke a lot of like I never win games, but when I got in, in, in that first game, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make my character this strong, mm -hmm. tough guy, and I immediately just <laughs> cannot a roll a, a dice to save no. my life. Yeah, right? Shane cannot and, roll. And Amanda's character, uh, all I have written down Sorry. is uh, death by Irishman. <laughs> me too. Okay. Yeah, me too. I think we all got death that. By Irishman. Did we all get murdered by an Irishman? Yes. Oh. I'm from Boston. I'm half Irish. I had to come in hot. Don't make this about Boston. Yeah, right. but it is about Boston. Yeah, but it's okay. about Boston. It's about uh, and Boston, Boston wins again. <laughs> uh, and I remember getting murdered in that and being like, wow, okay. <laughs> 
Cool. You couldn't cool roll game. though, like your rolls were so low. For so long. And Cornelius Jr., his son, it says, ears ripped off, punched through face. <laughs> like, my luck did not, con- did not improve. You know what, can I make you feel a little worse about this? Yeah. Um, because I know this game fairly well, and I'd actually played the first round of Betrayal Legacy with Greg and a few people from the office, our sound guys, so that you know I could test it. Um, I knew that, like, I don't know if we ever mentioned this before, but when we are like, oh, our speed drops and this stat and our might and all that stuff, we start out at different spots. Like, when I said I'm the sanest one here, like, my character starts with the highest sanity. So I the- set you up to be the smartest <laughs> character that will always be making these really clever moves because you have the highest knowledge. And I specifically set up Chance to be the really strong, mighty one because I'm like, you didn't have, and, and actually Angela as well, you both had really high strength to start. And I was like, neither of you had like a bunch of a chances to shine on the channel yet. So I'm like, I wanted that to happen. And somehow with Amanda's characters <laughs> in the roles, just like, <gasps> finish, yeah. and just like immediately. Can't stop me, honey. It was absurd. How'd you set me up? Cause I'm at like the lowest of all of them. Yeah, mine was <laughs> you're, you're. It's enough for you to be funny. <laughs> Great. Uh, Great. You're pretty well rounded. No, you have high speed. You have I'm higher balanced. Speed than everyone. You have but my speed. sanity is kind of low. My mind's bad. That's why I turned uh, other characters into more intellectuals. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Cornelius Jr. was a little bit more of an intellectual. And then you get into Francis, uh, who's, you know, the theatrical one. Right. Oh, um, wow. And then I started to just be like, you know what? Let's beeline it from these, like, like, really strong men to just the weirdest possible people I could think of. And that was the best part of this, is that Mm -hmm. like I said it multiple times in the beginning, where I would look at Amanda and I was like, this is a character actor's dream. Yes. yes. And with like, that, you made a character dream. named Vac. <laughs> <laughs> and there are some days, and there are some days you come to work, not your best. <laughs> I liked Vacuum. Okay, it was, what yeah. was everyone's least favorite character they did? And favorite mm. character they did? I will say my least favorite. And then you can have character you did the most fun. So there's three things, favorite, fun, worst. So. Least favorite was Cornelius Jr. because that was me trying to move away. Remind but us what he sounded like. Cornelius Jr. was similar to Cornelius, like, <laughs> but he, but he was just a, he was just a little more like. Oh, um, got it. You know, a scholar, but still a, a huntsman, and like, you know, it's still that sporty type of like old school thing. But I didn't really know. That was before I was really having fun with yeah. this. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. after that. It's hard to pick a favorite after that. Francis is definitely up there. Which one's Francis? Uh, Francis was the hark! Like, oh, like having yeah, the skull yeah, and yeah. being like, right. oh, I entered the room. Francis. Like, I it loved was him. so yeah, great. I and to Francis. get to bring him back as a phantom later Perfect. was awesome. Um, I literally saw people in the comments be like, oh my God, I was like tearing up when like people were bringing them back. And yeah, was, I teared was, up too. Yeah. I, I would say cool. for me, my favorites were, oh, that's tough. I would say definitely Carolyn. Aunt oh, Carolyn, of course. Oh, when, yeah. when she ah. finally shows up in 1947, oh, like my it God. was f-ing so much fun. And also, so suddenly, when my luck turned around and she yeah. could <laughs> only beat the sh- out yeah, of everything. She was amazing. She had a spe- there was she the was first so time I, I had never hit the max on one of these. <laughs> yeah. And when we started this game, I was like, it's impossible. I only lose traits. And somehow her speed went off yeah. the track. Yeah. And she was so fast. I remember you by one. <laughs> you yeah, could one. go throughout the whole house. I would yeah. just be like, I'd be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. And they'd be like, oh my God. I'm coming. What about you? Um, obviously, my favorite was Edwin. Yeah. Oh, so F boy. Because yeah. Edwin was an F boy who thought he was a sh- but he really didn't have any game oh. until he met his lady. Edwin was my favorite when he took off the hat. We all went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Adam that was Sandler. My favorite. You took off the hat, and then it's like, oh god, put that hat, <laughs> that hat on. on. It's all like flattened. Yeah. I loved Edwin um, so much. Uh, I feel like I'm Edwin, kind of in my real life. I would say maybe my least favorite might be Sadie. The um, like Who's Manson, Manson yeah. murderer girl, yeah. just because oh. she's so like <laughs> on another planet yeah. that mm. she doesn't quite have a lot of places to go. Yeah, sometimes that just happens with like the circumstances of the game. Like you come in with a really strong character choice, but the game doesn't allow you to show it off. Yeah. Like one example for me would be like I loved your FBI agent mm-hmm. so much, and there <laughs> were like a few glorious shining moments where you just had these killer one-liners, but like. You weren't 
driving a bunch of things throughout the episode because you were kind of just lost you were in, in the forest. Like two tiles. Like, I'm just, yeah. I couldn't do anything. And it was, the perimeter. It was amazing. I secure the perimeter. Yeah. Uh, that was, you love were that so one. big. You were so, yeah, so big. Large. Also, Damn we sat here for hours in our costumes. You were I so know. large. I, I did the face the whole time, too. I remember too you texting me being like, I think I'm going to be a security guard. And I remember just being like, why is he obsessed with that idea? Like, what the f does that even mean? Because I knew, because I have been working on that character and I've been trying to find a place <laughs> for it for a while. Okay. And I was like, yeah, he's a Secret Service agent. Yeah, he's just like, does nothing. He just like is puffed Ma up. Ma'am? Hey, I'll go out and ask you for your security. Like, he's not, <laughs> like, he's not doing that. So was that one of your faves? That was the most fun. My favorite was obviously Amadeus. Amadeus. Oh. And he just kept coming back, so it was like so, and he's, the it was so he big. He was so old. Was strong so seed. Dumb. Strong seed, strong seed. I also seed. remember that Amadeus episode, the one where Amadeus was his first one, yeah. is, was like the best game I think we played. So like, cause that was like, yes. we well, that's were because like, the, the baby game, one? that was one of the times that the game matched the character. Yeah. The game was, sure. you have to run around this house setting traps for the Berserker, yes. Yes. and that is so Amadeus. Yeah. He's not a fighter, he's like, I'm gonna put it this little trap yeah. here. Run over here, I'm gonna put this little trap here. Same That's thing was so... bodyguard, because he was like, I'm gonna secure the perimeter. And he's yeah. fucking amazed. He barely yeah. went anywhere, the bodyguard. He was, the but he, he's there. a security guard. His job is to stand there <laughs> and make people not want to do <laughs> anything. His job is not to go after people. So and when weird. you think about like a, a, like a, what was that, the 70s or whatever, 1969, like a horror film in that time, it would have been like, ah, we're in this scary house. And like, the, the help could have been just a little bit too far away. Like the cops are stuck yeah. and the whatever. Like, and, no use. and it was perfect because you were just out of arm's reach. What was your least favorite? Um, uh, um, probably like, probably, uh, I don't even know if you remember Abigail. She was like, little old me. Oh, yeah, I loved Abigail. Of I think it was great. Nothing, I was just. Generic I guess when they're all woman. bangers. Had 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 yeah, just <laughs> generic woman. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'll put a dress on for this one. I'll put a dress on, I'm gonna have some huge tits. Yeah, your tits were hot huge. As and that's what I'll do. Oh, was that like the little ribbon? Yes, oh, yeah, you had ribbon. huge tits. She's humongous. They were so She's distracting. She's like, oh, little old me. That's all she did. <laughs> that's all she did. Really good representation. Yeah, right. You know what's My funny bad. about that is like, I did get uh, in the comments, like when we had finished filming everything, but uh, one of the like later episodes was coming out, they were like, oh my God, like Shane has done Aunt Carolyn. That's so funny. Like, that means Damien's the last one. Like, he needs to be a woman in oh, this. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, but I realized like the reason I didn't do that and the reason it didn't pop into my head is every time I've played normal be betrayal, they have set characters. And I've always picked the one named Missy Dubois. Even on this channel, I'm Missy Dubois and she's a little girl. And I'm always like this little girl running through the house. So I mm. think for me being like, oh, I need to change it up. I was like, shoot, that wasn't public, but like. Mm. No, I for sure, I feel like very similarly. I have a, I noticed I, l I feel more free and crazy when I get to play men, but that's mm. just. What was your favorite? You can unpack that on your yeah, own. Yeah, we gonna unpack that later. We can unpack that later. <laughs> but in terms of like, I think it's harder for me to be like loud and crazy as an old woman in 17 whatever, which is, you know, the no, times. That's true. Yeah. Um, you know how the times are. Yeah, which is why I think I, I started noticing like uh, someone said that all my characters were just like really loud and crazy. And I was like, okay, bitch, which is my <laughs> least favorite character is when I played Eleanor, which I played twice. But who fell in love with you? I, I was in love with Eleanor. I loved name? the moment, but Eleanor. I was just like, I just chose that just to do it rather mm. than because yeah. I found it fun. Yeah, sure. Well, I loved it because I fell in love with you and we made babies. And it was fun to be like, okay. <laughs> like everything was just like, I'll go in there. What's your name? What's your name? What? No. Eleanor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was your that was um, your least favorite, Eleanor? Um, yeah, that was my least favorite. Ah, uh, my favorite, I have so many, I love them all. I think, um, I act like I have more than you guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Favorite um, I think my favorite fun. was Puddles. Puddles? Put oh, oh, Puddles! Oh my God, Puddles. Like, with like no teeth. Flowers. He has like two teeth. Or I liked Catch Him when he was 98. Catch Him at 31 Catch was him. hard. Dude. Ketchum was, Ketchum. Ketchum in the moment, I was like, okay, but Ketchum like aged like fine wine. <laughs> Ketchum yeah. was just like. His asshole fell out. Yeah. <laughs> he, did, he did not age well. But this is honestly, you could tell, I don't know about you guys, but like my first half of this game, I never planned my characters. The second half, I started to have a basic pitch. Mm. Oh, but like 100%. Ketchum, I had nothing. Okay, what about you? Oh, um, yeah, I think my favorite was probably Probably Simon, because he was the one I kept like. Yeah, Simon Boodles. He also Simon couldn't die. He couldn't <laughs> die. Like I did die. make him, you know, 124 and like possessed by a devil. And like that's a little bit too like away from the game looking back. But I think because I had played so much betrayal, I'm like this changes it up for me. Like it would be funny to keep watching him come back and like pray for death and like. Yeah. Um, oh, when you did the blood thing in your mouth. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the horns. The horns and the blood oh, and all yeah. that stuff. I thought you were being so weird before we started shooting, and I was like, why is he being so weird? <laughs> I'm always bad.
in your mouth. No, you're like. Because there's a bunch of wrong with my brain. You're, you're like this. Your mouth. Not wrong. And it's because you had the blood. Yeah, and I think um, my least favorite was probably Leopold. Who? Hell he was yeah. the one um, that was dressed in black with like the tarot cards and like I'm a magician, like a snake oil oh, salesman. Oh. He was just like he wasn't fleshed out. There was nothing in game that re really gave him a chance to shine. Like yeah. I feel like everybody found like good relationships at that time, and I was like, I'm also here, and it just like it didn't work mm -hmm. in the same way that was comfortable. Um, Sometimes when you're playing the game, you're just like stuck. Like yeah. Shane has been stuck. Like you're just like not rolling or moving really, and then your character yeah. can't really shine. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Totally. And I felt like also we we did a thing where we like took turns where someone would have like the big character day, and yeah. then we'd be like, okay, I'm focusing on the game this yes, time. Yes, exactly. Because the game, I don't know if you know this, but the game added more rules as we went on every single time. Yeah. So we had to remember the original rules, which there were so many already, Yep. and then every single time we came back, there were like two or three or four more rules yep. and objectives. Yeah. Yeah. But that's yeah. what I really loved about like, just like, not even just the cast, but like the production team as a whole, we learned mm -hmm. to like pick, once we had the characters, to find what's best for them. Like Alex was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Like honestly, Alex was so good at being like, it'd be really funny if vacuum would blow up at the end, we should do this, you should go into this. You know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. like, yeah. kind of, not like manipulating the game, but but for our characters finding the way they can shine mm -hmm. in the game. It's Game Makers, hum, Hunger Games. And I, they're I, like kind of, yeah. they're kind of manipulating, but the, they still have to do the thing in the arena. Right. They but still have never, to fight. He never yeah. did, it was just like, it was always just like talking it out and being yeah. like, what's the best for Lenny yeah. Kravitz yeah. and Kravitz, you know, or like yeah. whatever. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> best Lenny Kravitz, uh, pants that will not rip. There you go. Um, I will also say like, and if this is too like, you know, behind the scenes, let me know. But like, this was, um, since I moved into sort of a new role in Smosh Games that allowed me to produce a little bit, um, this was like the first one that I was like, this is my baby. And I was like very precious with it at first. And then it wasn't until a little bit later that I was like, I need help and I trust this team. And like, Alex took the bullet of like, every time reading ahead and seeing sure. what all the options were, of what all the haunts were, so that if and when we needed guidance, um, you'd be able to say like, hey, maybe try that doorway. And it wouldn't change or ruin anything, it's just literally like, this will be the most fun experience for you. And on top of that, like, there's so many things to punch out and new rules and all this stuff, he would put it all in a folder all at once and I was just like, okay, so yeah. I learned not only how to like produce, but like how to produce with a team. And then Alex, Alex did the lion's share really? of everything and it really was just Thank God. fantastic. Oh, what the cameras didn't see was that there was like, for I think just a couple of us, maybe just me and Amanda, when <laughs> one of us was the traitor, we would get to go outside and have a one-on-one -on -one with Alex. Alex, yeah. and then we'd read it and be like, this is what you're gonna do, and we'd be like, oh, God. <laughs> He would repeat it, he was so good, and then, <laughs> and then sometimes he would email us before, like, okay, yeah. let's prep, let's get ready, and I just felt so, like, not judged and welcome to be like, what am I doing here? Yeah. Did you guys like being the traitor? Loved it. Depended on the which one it was. I think I was only the traitor once. Really? A few times. I was the traitor I went. once. I was traitor as Clyde, and then, I, oh wow! I was I, the traitor when I was that little kid. I, I became yes. I was the traitor were, as and when Kravitz. You were berserker. berserker. Ronald. I didn't love being the traitor because I felt like I was not connected to the other characters mm. and like building the relationships. I liked working as a team to like f up the. Traitor. But sometimes being the antagonist was fun. Like yeah. when you did that as uh, your first though, Brian. That was so funny. Yeah. When I you had, beat the. Oh out. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was another time that I had two really fun. Traitor things mm -hmm. where it was Shelby, yes. which hell, Shelby. Yeah, like so yeah. fun. So you wanted to go to bed in your daytime clothes. Right. That freak, made me, you freak. That episode made me cry. <laughs> yeah, was, and then you threw it, and it was like. <laughs> Did I you also, get that when you went outside? What? Did you yeah, get the I was baby? like, I was, I read the traitor, and he was like, you have a baby, and I was like, oh, I need, I went to art, and I was like, I need a baby right now. <laughs> I need a baby doll, and I need to be creepy. You're building Shelby. a fifth new set, and they're just looking at you like, Shelby. And then my other traitor was the, was Gladys, the Dolores Umbridge type of yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I got the yeah. teeth thing, and that, that was so fun, Oh my God, too. she was like, the Beck killer. <clears throat> oh, oh, no, 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 that was, no, 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 this was the, uh, I was the yeah. Contress. She was like. Oh, the Contress. The Contress. 
being a critter can be really, really fun. Like you yeah. can be like really dark and evil, and then you get your one on one with Alex, and you're just like, <laughs> okay, just Alex, and you what those. do we do? Were you the yeah, maybe we I think that, they would with. just read it, <laughs> and we'd be like, Alex, break it down for me. <laughs> um, we we wanted to talk a little bit about character creation and what the process was, because uh, you had mentioned like you know some of these days you just winged it, you know some of these days you you had a a, a bit more of a plan. I actually just remembered something when you said that. Um, when I first started with this, when I practiced it with Greg, I had a different family name, and I was like, perfect, I've got my character, I know what I'm going to do. And it wasn't Boodles. <laughs> and I remember like getting here day of, and it was like, all right, who's your character? And I was just like, oh, um, uh, b a, a Boodles family, and it'll be, what is it, Sh Charlemagne? And like I just mm -hmm. came up with it out of my ass. But originally it was going to be Prumpkin. It was gonna be Elizabeth Prumpkin. And I was going to play as a <gasps> Missy Dubois type little girl. And I just, it completely blanked. And then mm. for whatever reason, I just never got back to that. That's so funny. That's like when people are like, yeah, my mom was gonna name me Rocket. And you're like, thank God she didn't. <laughs> yeah, <right>. yeah. <laughs> that's Simon that's Boodles. Sick. Yeah. Uh, I would often, uh, in the week before, I would be looking at the years and I would kind of plan it out based on those years. I will say I had some that were very, <laughs> uh, good. <laughs> you want a soda or like a <laughs> training? Tummy rubs, what's Is up? your mom coming to pick you up? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Pete. I was like, <laughs> bro, you should go home. You've yeah, been yeah. here for days. You're turtling I'm real hard. Getting fucking he's not even fully on the beanbag. He's not. He's <laughs> not. He's not. He's fully on the beanbag. This is more comfortable. Okay. For how long, though? Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Um, Guys, you're killing it. So, <laughs> get out of here. So, uh, I, would, I would often look at the years in the week before, and I would kind of plan out my characters based on that. But I will say the, the furthest out I thought is actually at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right. I see that it ends in 2004, and I'll, I'll probably want to cap this off with The Chosen. So I put a little wow. foreshadowing in there of my first character having sunglasses so that it would cap off what? with the character having sunglasses. Oh. Yeah, because it's kind of like, it's just like a small little- That's wow. some hidden Mickey sh just got, I just got chills. Yeah, that was the only thing that I kind of like did. And then I kind of knew, I knew Far in advance, I was like, I'm gonna put Dumpster Wizard in in the 1800s. Wow! And then I was like, an Aunt Carolyn will come about later on, and then I knew I would end it with The Chosen. Because 2004 is, that The Chosen is based off of me and most, most guys I knew in Arizona in 2004. Because that was what guys, like, Middle schoolers and high schoolers were <laughs> so like that back then. <laughs> Cute. Like loved the That's Matrix. Wild. Loved like yeah. like played Metal Gear Solid. You know. Yeah. So so 2004 fits so perfectly yeah. for him. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I also capped. I did strong seed in the first episode so that I could end strong seed in the last episode. Wow. And I could say it all the way through. Strong seed. I knew it. Um, and then a lot of the times I, when I was going to the next character, I would also look at the years, of course. But I would also think about who the person was before, like who are their parents, like mm -hmm. or how are they related? It's like how are they getting to them? So like, um, yeah. like Amadeus is like this aristocrat. He's like so high up in a yep. society. Then we're going to 1797. I'm like, oh, Hamilton. Ha who, if Hamilton's son, oh, it's Philip. It's Philip, fucking Hamilton. Yep. Yeah, yeah. As the kid, and then like when we get down, like Gladys, like what what kind of kid would she have? And she had this like street rat kind of kid who's like going against yep. the rules, right? Yeah. So yeah. then, so then like what kind of person is he making? He's making this jazz artist, this cool, cool, and then who is she having? She's having her son who works security, and then he's having the most gay son of all time, because he's too, oh, I he's love too that. straight. He's like, um, you're not my son. Oh, well then you get the gay one, actually. I love that. Uh, the only thing I planted was my Butt family holes. was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say something much smarter than okay, that. <laughs> my whole family was allergic to cat. <laughs> Sudafed. The thing that you did that with your eyes funny. when you did the yeah, uh, the like She's so good at doing the eyes. Uh, like you're just yeah. wait what? Do it. Do the you eyes. Just, where you you're go? Like to pretend sneeze. to sneeze. You're like ah. Yeah. There it yeah. is. There That's it amazing. is. I feel like I got very inspired by the year. I also, similar to Chance, was thinking about, okay, I loved having the same last name, because I was like, okay, if they're all family, what happened before, yep. and who would mm -hmm. give birth, or who would adopt, or who would be a part yeah. of that? 
but I got really inspired by like Googling the years and the outfit. Yes. yes. The wardrobe. 100%. I was like, yeah. and that's because Ooh. we got options. Yeah. And we got options and I knew that we were gonna be in wardrobe and I'm obsessed with wardrobe and wigs. Like yeah. to me, mm -hmm. that is like the start of building a character. And I never chose my name beforehand. And I honestly never really planned it out except for like the week of. But once we started to get into like, you know, 47, 69, yeah. 2004, yeah. where it was like, okay, I could yep. kind of see like real people. Yeah. Then I planned it out, but I will say I had more fun when I didn't have it planned weeks ahead and I was able to just Google yeah. and then see, and then the name kind of depended on when I put on the outfit, I was like, who is this person? Oh, Lily, or like, Edwin. No, I was, you, know yeah. I mean? we, you and I were very similar where we'd have yes. to put it on. Cause like, I don't, mm. I didn't have, I couldn't, I could see pictures, but I don't know how they feel and how they sound yes. until totally. I until I put it on. Yes. And I remember for a while I was giving Alicia like really broad, like yeah. I was like, can you get me a couple weird women wigs for that time? <laughs> and then meanwhile, you guys are like giving pictures and I was like, oh. Yeah. So after a while I started to get more specific, but in the beginning I would just try on a bunch of shit. Yeah. I got Ketchum's wig in the back because I was like, oh, I have nothing. And mm. then I just found him there, but yeah. But that's how you find them is like you, I feel like you really have to like put them on sure. and be like, yeah. oh, it's a totally different vibe. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you have to figure it out. You can tell early on that I I was not confident we would finish out this series when I played Beetle Brawn. <laughs> yeah. Beetle was oh, I, seven, I played him in the 1760s as if it was the 60s. <laughs> yes. Because I was just so like, funny. yeah, it's the 60s, yeah. who cares? But, but I love and then that. we made it to the 60s actually. That's exactly like, oh, new 2004. Um, so good. So I would like also look up the years and be inspired by wardrobe, right? And sometimes it'd be like a jump of 30 something years, but it'd be like these long flowing coattail suits and it'd be like 30 years after that, the pants were higher for men. <laughs> and you're like, okay. And like, yeah. that's a stark difference between the, the 50s and 2004, you know? Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like I did my planning out in like two chunks. The first one was like, what if you know, the circumstances of the game like actually robbed me of mortality. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be Simon four times, but like that was too many times for it to be fun for me. I think three would have been like, wow, he's back again. This was like, I'm 124 and I haven't aged, ha <laughs> ha. And I literally like off camera was like, please make me, let me die this time. Like I have to die. Yeah. Um, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, cause I was like, oh man. And like comments too were like, why does Jamie do the same thing every time? And like, you try not to listen to comments, but at the same time, I'm like, cause it's the same dude that I was like, yep, I wrote that he can't die, done. That won't come <laughs> back. Um, but then after that, you can see that like, with the exception of Leopold, like there was, like Bennigan was a very like, you know, rural forest man because he was raised in the forest because Simon ran off into the forest. And I wanted to have that little like touch of darkness throughout their lives. And I like sort of cut that off midway through. But then Billy is like, you know, a classic American kid with all that. And then like America is obviously raised after him and you know, very similar vibes. And then Butch is also like, you know, taking the toxic masculinity of his time and then wheat is completely like liberal versus three conservative, like whatever. And then it goes back to grub who's just question mark. <laughs> of course his parents were raised by, his parents were like a hippie and oh. you know, that was touched by aliens. And, yeah, and I love that. Yeah. It's so fun to get to play so many different people and then interact with so many different mm -hmm. characters while playing the game. It's like incredible multitasking to be honest. It's. It was a lot to ask of not only a cast, but a cast that is supposed to be focused on gaming. And like the fact that y'all brought it as sketch actors and as players of this game who could like let this just be a vehicle for us having fun was really special. Mm -hmm. Well that's thanks um, to the games part where it's like you would go, you have to walk through this door, you can't walk through that. And I, it's like, but that's yeah. why we would, how we did it is like yeah, help with exactly. people being like, these are the rules and us constantly being like, follow the fun, but also these are the rules and it's that mesh. Yeah. It's, I appreciate that. It's, it's a tough balance to find and I feel like I didn't really find it till later because there are some games where you're just like, ah, screw it. It's like, you know, let's just have fun and it'd be the game. But like, this is so, like the whole mm -hmm. point of it is like, there's new rules now and make sure yeah. this happens. Otherwise they might get an unfair advantage. I felt like I kind of had to be like, Way, but we needed like, that, yeah. We needed it, and it was constant though, exploration. Like, it was like an amazing amount of discovery. Chiara Michini asks, is there a time period you guys would have liked to set the game in that didn't make it in the series? If so, which one? Ooh, I, I, it would have been really fun to do. So, there, it skips 
decades. And like, Random. it was a bummer to me that it's like 1947, 1969, 2004. Yeah. It's like, oh man, no, to, have a, to have a 70s, uh, 80s, uh, 90s yeah. would have been so sick. Um, also, future so would have been fun. I was gonna say, oh my I, God, I, would I didn't have, think about that. I would have really loved modern day 2023 and we're ourselves. We are ourselves exploring this house. I would have loved like, Shane like killing me with 2060. A Oh, That'd be cool like too. future, future. Love that. Wow. I also just right? think 2004, once you get like more recent, you get so specific by year. Yeah. 2004, yeah. but 2008 would have been so stupid. That's yeah. so funny. You do like a high school musical type of freaking thing. I would have been Snooki. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jersey Shore. God. Can I be Polly D then? Oh, God damn. If we all just the Jersey, Jersey Shore, Shore. crew? Love you know, that. you can play an extra round after this just as it is. Oh like, let's just God, do a haunt as the Jersey, Jersey Shore. Shore crew and I'll learn what God that show damn. is. Next question. All right, next question. Samara92 asks, which out of all of your characters do you think would have the best chance of survival in a real life horror scenario? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what's really funny about that is that any of the characters who died the most quickly for me in this game. Are the ones. Like Cornelius was set up to be truly yeah. like mm -hmm. the most like efficient, like strongest survivalist guy. And he died so hardcore. Same with Cornelius Jr. They're both literally the most capable and I had the worst luck with them. And the characters that <laughs> I would not expect to, to do as well did fantastic. Mm. Beetle Braun and Carolyn. <laughs> were my two Fair most line. powerful Your underdogs, yeah. They were the yeah. most powerful. I'd say Sadie for me, because oh. she's she's the Manson murderer chick, and I feel like she's just weird enough to kind of sleep, like slip under the radar. Yeah. Like, she's not like Regina, who would probably get murdered first or last, but like Sadie would probably slip under the radar and maybe like befriend the murderer, the horror, and she would probably grow up to be an older woman and still like talk to demons. Damn. Yeah, mine's probably so. I thought of Amadeus and Chris Darren. My the the. Why are you saying Chris Darren to this Chris question? <laughs> because because I thought of him as the same. I thought of him as the same exact character. Just wow. Chris time. Darren, I forgot. And he had the huge fucking faux hawk, and they had the hair, same hair. That. I thought of, they're crafty. They're crafty. They're crafty. Maybe Mama. Maybe Mama. I feel mama. Like mama. She was. Strong. She was. Strong. Mama was really strong. She was strong. And um. I'm gonna say a weird answer. I'm gonna say Eleanor because she's mm. so 100%. just like, uh huh. And look at who she raised, you know? Lenny Kravitz. Lenny and Kravitz. She's gonna figure it um, out. Either that or the last girl I played, Brenda Final Girl Poppy. Oh, yeah. Yes. She does have Final Girl in the name. Oh, yeah, she was badass. Yes. Yeah, she was very, she was very yeah, badass. Very Final Girl. Um, I was gonna say uh, Yancey Grubb. But I realized, like, there's no way in hell. Like, the second someone else is in danger, he'd be like, allow me to step through the portal. Yeah. I have seen this before. And you never see his ass again. <laughs> but you're just like, he might be yeah. in the nether realm? Like, yeah. uh, maybe. So realistically, Bennigan, because he, like, yeah. survived oh, in the yeah. forest yeah, in the definitely. woods. Wait, like, oh, Bennigan oh, was the, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. long purple hair yeah. and, like, corn cob pipe. Like, I feel like he would oh, know. He, yeah. Yeah. What to do in a survival situation? Be like, I've been hiding under this house for thirty. Yeah, days. be like at the gas station. Be like, don't go up that hill. I've already tried and already like tried. survived. Yep. Yeah. And Simon is too uh, drawn to the darkness to actually survive a situation. Yeah. Yeah. Next so. question. All right. This is the last question. It's more of like a really short one, but for people uh, from Ish Balan asks for people who played recurring Smosh characters, do you consider what happened in this series canon to their lore? Whoa! Oh, Whoa. Wow! Huge! People, people I, I've seen a lot I've of people a lot. say that this is canon. I will say I feel this is a almost alternate reality for-, for Sideways. They're all and dead. Fantasy fiction. Mm -hmm. All the characters, dude, Dumpster Wizard like died so hardcore. But that dude can definitely be a ghost as you play him now. Like it would make true. no difference That's if that was a dead true. guy. That's actually true. That's true. <laughs> I, I would say it's up to your interpretation. Like, um, right. but That's in good. my head, it was like the same character in an alternate mm. world. Yeah. Has to be. Multiverse. Has to be. Oh but, my God. Uh, you should have been a young Sarah Christ in 2004. Oh my God. Oh sh. Let's oh. go back. Delete and what we I should have been Snooky. <laughs> oh, that would have been sick. Like an God. 18 year old. We just gotta find like another game where out. we play characters. Yeah, and you really. I would totally bring, bring back that. Sarah Crisis 18. God, that'd be amazing. God, she's wow, been that's a nightmare. Cool.
Uh, Mr. Grubb, this, this, I didn't, at first I thought it might have been canon, but I realized like, if for him to be canon, the Chosen would have to be canon in that, in that universe, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. standing alone, had you not given the answer you gave and not worrying about the Chosen's age, I'd be like, Mr. Grubb can definitely have been a substitute that took people on like a very bizarre trip. And, and that's why to, he like, talks like that. No, he's from no, the he's South. Like that no, I meant like with all of his weird <laughs> fantasy shit. Or he's like, mm. he just knew about it. That's you why you walk he got into yeah. the realm of the whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but I your letho tip of the many like faces. Him. Something that I think is really like kind of <laughs> sad about the chosen is that in this universe he was legitimately chosen. The chosen. Like yeah. he was actually oh. the chosen yeah. <laughs> to, to to fight and end this this. Why like, is that sad? Evil. I think that's crazy. Because in this universe, in the in oh he's in the a... universe that I play him in all our other videos, he's, he's, he's the chosen. Living in the wrong but he's living in a fantasy. But that's what makes him. Uh, but I like to think I like to think that in every other universe, the chosen is legitimately the chosen. I love that. In this one, he's like, I am the chosen. It's like. No, that's because so because sad. there's something innate there that's like yes, but not here. That's why he acts. <laughs> I, I want this to be. Uh, I love. But that. it's also to be fair that is based on it is the equivalent of like you know how like what is it people used to, people would only say it about girls on Tumblr about like the main character thing and, oh, I, and I see like Mary I see it as like <laughs> no it's like like thinking, main like, character the, energy oh, main okay. character energy it's main character energy but it's about like like angsty like young like dudes in middle school. I think a lot of them go through a phase where they believe, like, what if I'm the chosen one? <laughs> <laughs> like, all TV and film make you think, like, yeah. It's chosen. also funny thinking, like, the one, the real chosen that we live in, like, that's the one in game chosen. It's like, that's the one reality where yeah. you don't save the universe. Yeah. Actually. All right, y'all, this concludes our round table discussion about Board AF Betrayal Legacy. Um, this is a very special series. I feel like I got a lot closer to all of you, um, and we have a lot of people to thank. Alex, Spencer, Kevin and Andre are editors. Yes. We've got Jackie, we got Alicia, who is always working on those costumes. We've got our entire art department, Aaron, Cassie, Alex, uh, making these sets look fantastic with little change-ups here and there every so single cool. time. We got Vita on camera. Ah. I believe Brennan on camera as well, probably. Brennan doing the lights, oh, which changed every everything. time with the, like, the haunt begins. We got Greg on sound. And Arasha and Spencer both filled uh, in for oh us. Oh my god, that's right. Arasha's a member of the Poppy family. Yeah. Goofy Poppy. All right, y'all, this has been a fantastic time. Um, I appreciate you so much for watching this and believing in us um, and making this series something that we could see through to the end. Thank you for supporting with your views. That being said, we've proven that we can take a premise and see it through to the end. Um, and with that, I think we're gonna start something you've been asking for for a long time. Would you guys like to see um, Smosh d d also known as Sword AF, yeah. coming soon? <laughs> With this cast, baby, more characters, more adventures, and we're writing the story this time. Stay tuned. And leave comments below. Yeah. Not me getting chills. I'm really good at this. Aww. I'm really good at this job. And I, I'm actually curious, uh, comment down below if, if you have completed Betrayal Legacy. And how often you would play, and if you would do multiple, like I don't think yeah, you would. But. I yeah, I will read, I'll read your stories. Sure. Like, let us know. Like, yeah. yeah. I wanna hear who's finished it, or how far you got. And how, how stories, long it took you. Or, Reddit stories betray legacy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Am I the like, asshole for? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, no, for like any legacy game too, because I think anybody who likes board games or D&D &D can like appreciate how fun it is to start something like that and be like, let's all get together like every couple of weeks. And then like one person has work and then one person can't come because of this. And then one yeah, person's it falls off. And it falls off. So like getting through this is a huge achievement. Like, yeah. I'm so. No, for sure. It was awesome.